the Zuzu pet. I come all the way from Bermuda to get a Zuzu pet. Zuzu! <laughs> My brother, he loves Zuzu. Like, he heard about this on CNN. The moment he saw it, he was in love with it. I've read estimates that 7 million households um, in the United States are already Zuzu pet owners. I mean, when you think about it, it's such a simple toy, but why did it mesmerize kids to such an extent? Well, your numbers are, your numbers are very accurate, and there's many reasons why this ended up being the big sensation of last year. Um, the simplicity of the item, it, it really was brilliant in its simplicity. Moms loved the toy because mm -hmm. here they had a great pet for the kids to play with mm -hmm. that didn't mess up the house, they and didn't they were have cheap to too. feed it. And the price point, under $10 retail for the opening price point, was really mm -hmm. perfect in the economic conditions that we were in last year. Mm -hmm. And in terms of, you know, sales, um, I'm sure it's been a blockbuster hit for Sepia. Oh, it's How much did the company rake in? Well, it, it's been huge. And um, last, last year, through the holiday season, uh, we shipped in excess of $70 million worth of product into the marketplace, uh, and yet the perception was that uh, that we were shipping short because there was so little product on the shelf. Mm -hmm. The reason being, as soon as it hit it, as soon as it hit shelf, product just evaporated. So the first generation um, of Zuzu hamsters, there were four different correct versions of them. Right. How many will be in use this year? For this year, just in the Zuzu pet category, there'll be well over forty different new personalities that'll be introduced during the course of this year. We're, we're calling these our little, our new little rock stars. Uh, these are our long-haired hamsters. Uh, they're, they're hamsters with a little bit of attitude, as you can see. They'll be in stores probably around end of May. We're also doing a category called our Wild Bunch. And here we're deviating a little bit for the first time from the basic hamsters. And we're getting into some of these little woodland creatures that you see, a little skunk, a hedgehog. Uh, our raccoon and bunny. How worried is Sepia or how anxious is Sepia about, you know, um, competitors knocking off some of these products? Um, we're actually quite flattered by the fact that the big companies are watching us so closely, you know, little Sepia, but uh, you're right, we've understood that some of the bigger companies are watching and, and maybe bringing some, some uh, product out into the market, but we really have very little concern because we have established the Zuzu brand, and that's what the children want right now.